We out here doing big things in Walmart. Wally World. Garden section. That's where you find, that's where they hide all the secret lures. How about I get one of these, I put it on and go in the middle of the pond and float and cast and try to catch them. Bro. Ooh. Ooh. I get sunglasses and all, dude. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna keep looking. Well, I just want those. I just want those sunglasses. Is really all I want. All right, we couldn't come up with anything else. We're, so <laughs> you guys should comment right now. Um, any challenge ideas you have because this stuff is getting old. But this is kind of different. This comes with what is it? What does it include? It includes a tackle box, sunglass, practice casting plug. Definitely going to be using the practice casting plug here. So it comes with a little tackle box. I don't know if there's any lures in here. I'm sure there's some some stankos and some shatter baits, some really high quality gear in here. It's eighteen dollars for all this, and we have some baller shades too, UV four hundred. So I'm good to go. How are you today? Good. Do you think that'll catch any fish? Do you think that fishing pole will catch them? I'm trying it out for the first time. I don't know. <laughs> it's mostly little girls. Well, I'm not that far off from that, so it'll oh. be all right. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good to go. We got Skittles, Skittles and Barbie rod. I'm actually gonna try two different challenges today. One is gonna be obviously using the Barbie, the Barbie pole. It's like a telescopic pole, so it's different than the traditional Barbie, Barbie rod. The other one is gonna be hand lighting, like throwing it, throwing the spinner bait or whatever out with my hands and ringing the line in with just my hands. That's gonna be the next challenge. But it's hot. There's trains. It's hot. It's windy. So I'm sure the audio is gonna be great. But we're gonna be we're gonna be hitting some some pines, trying to catch some largemouth bass. Turn down the jam here. Wait on a train. We're uh we're getting ready to go. Pond I've never been to. I don't know if it's fire or not. Gonna find out. Quick unboxing. First things first. Hater blockers. <laughs> Leave the sticker on and all. Ready for this? Watch out. No drag. That you don't need one. Don't worry. All right, here we go. It's a little spinner bait action. Oh wow, this is this is really clear. I'm sure this wind is gonna be great. Here we go. Oh yeah. Is this moss or fish? Oh, I got a fish. First cast. First cast. Barbie rod. Oh. 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 Oh, dude, this is... Oh, no, come here! Oh, he's still here. Okay, we're good. I thought he came off. Look at that. First first cast Barbie rod challenge. Not much of a challenge. Look at that little dude. So, what I might end up doing is trying to do the uh, the no rod, no reel challenge after I catch a few, few of these flare fish. If I don't get anything bigger, I'm going to try that. It's a nice little Kansas brute there. All right, see you later, Felix. Whoa. Okay, first cast. So, obviously we're at a fire pond. Had no idea it'd be this fire. See if we can go, uh, see if we can go two for two. So I started here with the, the wind, wind blown area, the wind's blowing in here, and uh, that's where the fish was, so. So with this, you just kinda wanna reel. I got it, I got one. Oh, okay, yep, sounds great. Sounds, sounds great, Barbie. Yep, okay, all right, well. I had one. I don't know if maybe you guys know how to, do you guys know how to fix this thing? I don't. It's, it's not good when this thing doesn't. All right, hand line challenge starts now. Here goes the uh, the no rod, the no reel challenge. All right, all right, let's try the little rodeo approach. Oh, there's a good one. All right, here we go. Swing it around. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh! No. Yes! No. Yes! Yes! Handfish! Handfish! No. Yes! Handfish! Dude, that was bad. Oh, baby! Ow! Bad. Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, my God! Come Dude, here! That's a nice fish. Oh! I just, oh, hand, I just hand lined a three pound bass. Barbie rod check. No rod, no reel. Check. That's two and a half to three pounder. He's bleeding a little bit. All right. See you later, Mary. All right, well, I don't need a pole to catch fish. So those of you guys that think you need $250 combos, that's a lie. All right, we got, let's, let's, what other challenge can we come up with? Let's find something else in the truck. See if we can catch these fish. Here we go. We're gonna, well, there goes my camera. 
We're gonna go do the gummy worm. This is a classic. I haven't actually done sour. I've done normal gummy worms, not sour gummy worms. So let's see. I'm thinking. I'm thinking more of a chartreuse, like a chartreuse orange. Just Ned rig it. Just, just like that. You want the chartreuse at the tail too, because the chartreuse is gonna stand out the most. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. Kind of just thread it down. Pull it out through. Slide it on up. There you go. You got yourself a sour gummy worm Ned rig. This is what catches the biggins. I'm using a little finesse balance rod. This is by far my new favorite. Uh, Peter finesse rod and real combo. This combo here. Is there anything in that other pond over there? Oh, there's one. Oh, gummy worm, sour gummy worm. Gummy worm, baby. Oh, this might be a big one. I cast it all the way to freaking Narnia. We've completed three challenges so far. Gummy worm, no rod, no reel, and Barbie, Barbie rod, pocket fisherman, extendable telescopic rod. Boom, right there, proof. In the mouth, haven't touched it. A little sour gummy worm, Ned rig action. Right there, look at that little guy right there. See you later, George. Hey, George is good. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she just caught like a four pounder on a gummy worm. Look, proof, out. look. Check that out. Gummy worm, that is a sour, sour Ned, Ned rig gummy worm. That's a four pounder, dude. Where there you go. Matt just caught his PB, about probably four and a half or so at least. I don't have a scale, unfortunately, but on a gummy worm. All right, so we've caught some fish. I want to see what this pond is like. This is a pond I've never fished for. I'm going to throw throw the deeper around. Obviously, do do what I normally do, which is check the de the temperature and the depth. Then I'm also going to kind of scan the bottom a little bit and just see what the bottom content is. If there's any rocks out there, if there's any trees laid out, just really see how deep it is. Uh, but like I said, we've caught some fish. I, I just wanted for myself. I personally just want to know why these fish, why there's so many fish in this little pond, and uh, and why they're so active. See what the water temperature is and that type of stuff. So throw this bad boy out. We'll see. We'll see what we got here. I don't know how well you guys can see that on there. The green stuff, that's that's usually vegetation. So we're sitting around four feet. The water temperature is 71. So these fish have probably already spawned. Um, they're they're pretty much past that past that stage. I know that I know this is hard to see for you guys. You guys have seen a weird awkward angle of the GoPro. Uh, but those little those little blips everywhere, those are little bait fish. Kind of hanging around, just little little small guys. Water temperature is showing 68 degrees. So they're just they're right past that spawn where they're gonna be pretty active. Either they're they're pre-spawn, spawn, or post-spawn right around this temperature. It just kind of depends. And obviously this isn't a big lake, so they're not gonna have a giant spawn, but they're uh, that's that's why they're 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 eating right now and they're so active compared to Nebraska fish, even though it is March, that they're uh, they're that they're, they're this active right now. Oh, dude, that thing just went after my deeper! Dude, I just had a four pounder go after my deeper. Dude! What the hell? I just had a four pounder try to eat the deeper. Swear to God, came all the way out of the water. I want to see if it does it again. I need a buzz bait. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to some traditional bass tactics to try to catch some more fish. I think I caught all the dumb ones, uh, and especially since something came after this this deeper, I'm actually gonna throw a buzz bait. Now this is not optimal buzz bait conditions by any means. Obviously, it's sunny, 90 degrees, and windy. But we're gonna we're gonna see if we can trick any of these big bass into, into biting a buzz bait. I want to catch a big one. That's kind of my goal. Is see if I can catch a bigger one today. And after seeing that giant eat the deeper, I'm gonna throw a buzz bait. All right, black buzz bait. God, I haven't thrown a buzz bait in so long. This is gonna be great. Oh, oh! That was like a six, dude. I'm not even kidding. That was like a six. Someone take this. I'm throwing a whopper popper. I've got a black one. I missed a giant on the buzz bait. I'm thinking black, dude. They ate the deeper, which is black. They ate the buzz bait in like big ones, like five, six pound, just giants. We've been, we've caught 25 fish out of this pond today already, and none of them are big. So I'm going, I'm going big or going home. Got the black whopper plopper, ready to freaking go to go to battle. This should have a better hookup ratio than that buzz bait with all these treble hooks and the floats and everything. There it is. There it is. There it is. Whopper plopper, big and big and. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh God, dude, it's big. Holy shit. It's big. Holy shit, it is big. Oh my God. There we go. <laughs> oh That's the pig of the day, boys. God. That's the pig of the day. Look at that whopper plopper. I didn't want him flopping in. <laughs> there we go. That's pig. That's pig of the day. See you later, Becky. Well, that right there, folks, is my very first hopper plopper whopper dopper fish five pounder 
I knew that thing would catch, like I said, after the deeper, the deepers will put me on that pattern. Fish the buzz bait, got a hit, gave it to Matt. He caught a big one. I picked up the plopper, caught a freaking toad. We're gonna keep on fishing though. Sun's still high, fish are still biting. I'm gonna throw that plopper though somewhere. That's uh, it's pretty fun to catch my top water. Bobby guy just got his PB. Holy smokes, dude. There, that you, was, there you go, that's your PB. That Is that the big one? Yeah. Matt caught the big one. All right, back up, back up. I'll go down and get it. There you go. Oh my God. That's it. Oh I gave Matt my buzz bait and he got the big one. Look, it barely hooked. Oh. You just bro you broke your PB. Yeah. You just broke your PB for the yeah, second time. Like he, ago. he just broke his PB. That's bigger. That's oh. almost five. Is it? Yeah. Oh, dude, it is. Look. Oh. Look at that. He broke his PB twice today. He just broke his PB twice yeah. today. This is a pond we've never been to. This is nuts. Look That's at that fish. Dude. Matt's going to get the release on Matthias here. It's PB. That's a good one, dude. That's 19, 20 inch fish. Probably four and a half, five pounder. We don't have a scale, unfortunately, but there Matthias goes. PB, I get, I tied on a buzz bait and I had one hit it. Gave it to him because I wanted to catch on the plopper and bam, he caught a, caught a toad. All right, I'm back. After all that chaos, I'm gonna see if I can catch, catch another one on the old, the old plop daddy. There it is. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Whopper, plopper. Another plop daddy. It ain't a giant though. It's not as big as that one, but I'll take it for now. Come here, little buddy. There you go, that's that's the second plop daddy fish. See you later, David. Whoa, David just freaking the hell out. He's got him, he's got him, he's got him. I, I gave Fetcher the plop daddy, and I think he got a big one. Keep your rod tip down. Nice and easy. Is it Big Bertha? It's pretty It's easy. a good one, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, geez, there you go. Oh! Ah! Oh, my God. Should go lipper. Dude. There you go. Oh, my it's God. The old plop daddy. I, tr oh I was trying to swim God. bait, and I gave him that, and that's what happened. That wow. thing's just absolutely incredible. God dang. Dude, what is what's your that's PB? Like that's probably PB. it. His PB we got broken twice. Hey, his PB we got broken twice, and we broke his once. On a random pond in Kansas that we've never fished before. How Dude. about how about that? How about that? What are you gonna name this one? Freaking Bertha. Bertha. <laughs> See you later, Bertha. Bertha playing dead. <laughs> Bertha. Bertha, don't play dead. Bertha, she good. Oh, Bertha, real good. There you go. There you go! Biggin! Oh! Keep it down, it's a biggin on the plopper! Oh my goodness! Oh wow, that's a biggin. Oh my god. That's bigger, dude. Oh my god! Dude! Oh my god! Oh my heaven. Yeah, that's it. There, you just got your PB cast back to back cast. Back to back. Back to back cast. First cast after that last one. <laughs> Are you serious? Bertha Senior. There she goes. Jeez, dude. That is absolutely nuts. Well, folks, I've kind of taken a break and I'm throwing a swim bait and it's not working. And I gave Jake the plopper and he caught two PBs. I think you guys are probably getting pissed at me saying PB a lot. You did in the last video. But I think this, this video deserves to be said a lot considering we've broken six today six in two hours we've been here for two hours this is nuts i wanted to do the no rod the no rod the no reel challenge and i did and i completed that and now we just went to hardcore hardcore try hard fishing and uh catching some big ones we're gonna keep on going i'm, gonna, I'm, I'm determined to catch one on that swim bait though i'm gonna keep trying that swim bait i don't know how there's one yep i got one on the swim bait finally There's a three, three pounder. There you go, I finally caught through the little Yamamoto hardtail swim bait. That's, that's some chunky little fish there. We're catching so many fish today. This is, this is just, this is like a, a once in a lifetime day that you have right now. See you later, Jeremiah. Woo! 
right there that's the rig i just caught that fish and i'm going to tie on a different bait i'm just going to i'm just cycling through baits finding all the big the big fish baits in my tackle box and trying them out i tried the whopper plopper very successful swim bait fairly successful we're gonna we're gonna try a couple more things my tie on a, a chatterbait it, this it, this wouldn't be a proper fishing or flare vlog if i did not throw the chatterbait so i'm gonna I'm gonna give this thing a shot and see if it actually catches any fish. I don't know. I know the Whopper Plopper's doing good. I only got one, and I'm uh, I'm letting Bobby guy right now throw that. See if he can catch a see if he can catch a five pounder. There's one chatterbait. That's a good one. Knocked the chatterbait off the list. Completed the fishing with flare vlog, ending it on the old ch ch, -ch chatterbait. Last fish of the day, coming on the old classic. See you later, Tanner. We're ending the day. Best pond fishing day of my life, by far. Hands down, just like, we, we caught so many big fish. Six, six, seven PBs were broken. I mean, that's pretty incredible, on, especially on whopper poppers and buzz baits and, and all that fun stuff. So, Bobby Guy Films broke his PB. Twice. He's got a video of him catching it, so. Twice. twice, 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 and twice. Crazy. He's got a video of him catching it. Uh, I'll link his channel down below. You should go check it out. Subscribe and watch his video. He's going to be doing a lot of fishing. Obviously, he's got the hookups from... We got the hookup here. What's your Instagram? Do you have an Instagram? Yeah, I got Do the Instagram. Do you want people to follow you on Instagram? Yeah, give me a follow. Okay, what's what's your what's your uh, username? Don't know my username, but look up my name. What's your name? You Trace Basie. Figure it out. All right, I'll link it down below. <laughs> go follow him. Follow Bobby Guy Films. These two dudes will be linked down below as well. We had a good time. We'll have to come back. It's pretty far away from my house, but we'll we'll have to make another trip. Hope you guys enjoy this video. We did a lot of challenges. Turned from catching small fish, doing like flare fish, doing challenges to catching just absolute freaking tanks, messing around with whopper ploppers, all because a stupid bass decided to eat my deeper. If, of all things, my deeper. <laughs> yeah, it ate the deeper, and I in my head I go, oh, buzz bait, black buzz bait, ate the buzz bait, missed it. I was like, ooh, whopper plopper, done. Whopper Plopper did it. That's it. I'm ending it. If you guys want any of the gear that I used uh, in this video, I'll link it down below. If you guys want hat, swag, I'll link it down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and peace. This thing doesn't reel. I already broke it.